On the 20th of June of every year, the United Nations marks World Refugee Day with the intent to highlight the living condition of refugees and internally displaced persons around the world. According to the United Nations Refugee Agency, there are over 2.5 million internally displaced persons in Nigeria's northeast and northwest geopolitical zone as at May 2020. Majority of the internally displaced persons live in deplorable situations in their various camps. Poor hygiene, no access to proper health care, congested camps and informal settlements are some of the challenges they are confronting. In Cross River State, there are also over 60,000 registered refugees and asylum seekers, most of them from southern Cameroon. Their demands range from the provision of basic amenities to means of livelihood to sustain them. We provide as well a support to sustain themselves in terms of livelihood activities, non food items like household utensils, and as you can see as well, to enable them to construct their household, their shelters within there, and of course, a support in general to the government. The UN Refugee Agency also reports that there are almost 300,000 Nigerian refugees in neighboring countries of Niger, Cameroon and Chad. They are victims of banditry and cross-border crime. The displacement in West Africa is shows over 260,000 refugees and about 3 million IDPs are displaced in the region. In 2020, it is estimated that 24 million people will need humanitarian assistance and, of course, protection within our region. The federal government is promising to address their challenges. Protection of refugees and other vulnerable groups is among the top priorities of the administration of President Muhammad Buhari. And as a ministry mandated to coordinate all humanitarian issues, will continue to ensure the safety and well-being of all refugees and other vulnerable groups in Nigeria. Globally, an estimated 65.6 million people have been forcibly displaced since 2017. The United Nations Refugee Agency is hoping that the challenges confronting these persons of concern can be resolved.